Let's kick this off with a question as old as time. If you could become a superhero, who would you be? What powers would you have? I would assume a lot of people would go for such big hitters like the Hulk, Captain America, Superman, Batman, and so on. However, have you ever seen this guy? Give me the chance to change your mind and make Battle Beast, the best superhero you've probably never heard of, your choice as the superhero you'd like to be. Brutal, violent, destructive, chaotic, and bloody spoilers lie ahead. Just to get this out there, this big bad boy is not in either of the big two's long lineage of characters. Battle Beast is a character from an itty bitty image comics book called Invincible. No sarcasm, it's not tiny, it's getting a giant movie, Steven Yeun is in it, and J.K. Simmons, everyone loves J.K. Simmons. Anyways, for those of you who have read the series and wrapped up the 15 year long journey last year, 2018, Battle Beast is a familiar yet hilariously and excitingly scary face. For those of you who have not read Invincible though, let Battle Beast be one of many, many reasons you should give it a try. Battle Beast could arguably be the greatest foe to Mark Grayson, who is Invincible and the series' main character. Now of course, Thrag, the strongest of the race of alien people known as the Viltrumites, definitely becomes known as his biggest obstacle, but Battle Beast might be just as strong, if not stronger. For those of you who have read it, no need to point me out on the obvious, I'll get to that in a minute. The Lion on Steroids claims to have conquered thousands of worlds, and galactic empires tremble at the sound of his name. Oh my gosh! His one and only calling is to be at war constantly. He lives for the thrill of the fight and the smell of blood, whether that's his or his opponents. Gross. But let me make this clear, that blood is rarely his, and his largest quest is to find a worthy opponent to fight. Think One Punch Man, but more obnoxious, overly excited, and angry. When he defeats his foe, which is pretty much 100% of the time, he likes to take a trophy, which is usually their head. Gross, again. Battle Beast first makes his appearance in Invincible issue number 19, where he fights Mark Grayson for the first time as he is hired to defend Machine Head against our high school student turned hero. Battle Beast is semi-impressed with the young hero's strength. Wow, adequate at best. But he ultimately pummels him into the ground. The Guardians of the Globe, essentially the Avengers of the Invincible Universe, save Mark Grayson from becoming another head trophy for the Beast. You're welcome, Mark Grayson. Battle Beast comes in and out of Invincible's 144 issue long adventure, but he never changes who he is, a f crazy killer. We do learn, however, that he turned his planet into a utopia, and his people are at peace. Never would have guessed that. However, this is where his thirst for violence and blood began, and his people hope their messiah eventually returns one day. Well, he most likely never will. Sorry guys. He frequently helped fight the wars of the Coalition of Planets, the board of leaders throughout the galaxy who strive to keep peace amongst the many different species and planets. He eventually finds himself in the Coalition's assault on the Viltermites, and he comes face to face with Grand Regent Thrag. Battle Beast has finally found his match and is overpowered quickly. His neck is snapped in issue 120, and it is unknown if he survived. But hot damn do I hope he lived. Invincible's run is over, but Battle Beast is the kind of character that should live on in other stories. Comic book writers take notice. Who needs a giant bloodthirsty lion who has superhuman strength, hearing, sight, and tracking capabilities? What about incredibly good swordsmanship? Not to mention his excellent hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. He's even like seven foot six and over 750 pounds. Battle Beast is the hyper-violent Wolverine we've all been waiting for. Think like old man Logan, but not old, and 10 times more violent. There is no telling if Battle Beast will be in Amazon's adaptation of Invincible, but here's to hoping we see him on the big screen soon. Hell, I would love to see him as a playable character in a side-scroller. And no, Battle Beast the Ultimate Fight game from 1995 on PC doesn't count. Deep cut, my bad. If not Battle Beast, which character in Invincible would you like to see in the upcoming film? Let us know in the comments, like this video, and subscribe to Gamma Ray.